of the Jolly Green Giant. Gosh, what a swing. Thanks, Sprout. Is bean slicing hard to learn? Not with the Giant's green beans. Any way you slice them, they're delicious. Crisp, tender, and full of fresh bean flavor. French style or kitchen slice brand, they're still Green Giant brand green beans. So it's all in the beans. Yep, and in a smooth swing. Ho, 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 Green Giant. Hey, folks. Happy Sunday. Today, we're not going out and spending a million dollars on lunch. Yesterday, we went to the fair. But, uh, yeah, we're keeping things at home today. Um, we've decided to do a green bean casserole. So this is going to be a cooking show. Okay, my face, my, my pretty face ain't going to be in it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a traditional uh, French's green bean casserole but I'm gonna add a little twist to it, a mild twist. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. Green bean casserole is normally like a, you know, you go out to a gathering, you, you know, Thanksgiving holiday, whatever. Well, today's just a normal Sunday. So this evening we're gonna be having green bean casserole with some fried chicken. Um, I didn't fry the chicken, it's already store-bought, so we're just gonna reheat that. And that won't be in this video, unfortunately. Uh, so, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna be using, uh, here we go. This is how it starts. I'm an amateur at this, by the way. This is my measuring cup. It's meant for, for pancakes, okay? So it drains from the bottom. So we're gonna start with three quarters of a cup of milk. We're gonna put that in there. Now this is whole milk, all right? Whole milk. The thicker the milk, the better. So we just went with whole vitamin D milk. So we're gonna put the whole vitamin D milk in. Now, what the traditional recipe also calls for is green beans. So we're using, and this isn't an endorsement, Green Giant cut green beans, two cans. Okay, these are already pre-drained, ready to go. I prepped it so we don't waste too much time here. I kind of drained it. So we had our one can. Okay. Two cans. Green beans. Key ingredient, folks. Campbell's Condensed Cream of Mushroom Soup. Okay. We're using the thinnest stuff today. You know, Campbell's, Green Giant, blah, blah, blah. I was going to get the store brand which was like 50 cents cheaper, but might as well go with this. So what you gotta do, and I watched a couple of uh, videos, they're all the same. We gotta make sure that we get all of it in there, okay? We're not gonna add any water. So whatever I can get out with the spoon, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna get in there. Or if, we knew, if you're a New Englander, we're gonna get all this in there. Okay, so get all, all this in there. Mind you folks, I'm a professional here. I'm a professional everything, you know. We got, the, we got the ring lights set up in the background, whether I need it or not, but still it's kind of fun to play, to play movie studio. So just make sure you get all this Campbell's condensed cream of mushroom soup in there. Let's do that again. Okay. So now that those three ingredients are added, I'm gonna lick the spoon. Mmm, because we're not serving a party, so we're not worried about the cooties. Now, the twist to it, actually before the twist, is the pepper, okay? Because you gotta, they want like one eighth of a teaspoon of, of fresh ground pepper. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it by ear. Or do it by feel. I'm probably gonna add a little bit more pepper than usual. Okay. I think it's a little bit more than usual right now. Folks, look at that. Looks sloppy. Actually, it is sloppy, but the end result is gonna be fantastic. You can't go wrong. Now, here's the twist. Okay, here's my twist. I'm gonna try and do this video one take jig. 
I'm going to add a little bit of Arby's horsey sauce, which is pretty much Arby's version of horseradish sauce. Now you can love it or hate it. Now this stuff isn't too hot, so don't worry. It's not going to be a face melter. Okay. It's not going to be too hot, but what it is going to do is it's going to add a little bit of twang to it, a little bit of a, ooh, a little bit of that to it. And I've done this before. It was quite a few years ago, but I did use this and it turned out quite spectacular. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt <clears throat> however much I feel in here. Oh, that seems like, oh my goodness. Yeah, folks, you, some can get grossed out at it, but you know what? If you got a problem with it, leave a comment, because I don't care. Because um, I know it's gonna taste good. So now I'm gonna get out. So if you grab a spatula, one of these things here. Oh, this one's got a smiley face. It's funny, because I have knives, these little tiny knives. I got different types but they all have these little smiley faces on them. They got that one there. Where's another one? Oh, there's my face again. Oh crap, there's another one. This one here. Oh, isn't that cute? But they all got these little freaking smiley faces on them. I don't get it, but anyways. So what you want to do is you kind of want to fold this around a little bit, get it all good and mixed up. Now next after this, uh, we're going to be pouring in the the main key ingredients. So what I want, what I like to do is I like to get this stuff all mixed up first before I add the special to it. Now the special is the French's, uh, what's it called? A uh, French's uh, crispy fried onions. It's this stuff right here. We're gonna add this here in a minute. Now we're going with all brand names here because believe it or not, in most cases, when you use the brand name on things, it just tends to turn out a little bit better. Now, the horsey sauce is, isn't gonna burn your face, so don't worry. Um, and I recommend it for real. I mean, you could add it in there and not even tell anybody, and they wouldn't even know the difference. They'd be like, mm, oh, this, 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 this side dish tastes good. There's a side, look at this. His face is melting, melting with, Cream of mushroom and horseradish. Oh, shit! Oh, so that blooper. I'm gonna leave that in there. That's, that that was fun. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and that's already nice and stirred up. Folks, this is a professional cooking show, okay? Mind you, professional, okay? Because I am professional at everything. Look at this. I'm gonna wipe this off my shirt like that. Gross. Mm, tastes good already. All right. So, yeah, like I said, one take Jake. Now what you gotta do is leave that in there like that. We're not gonna put the whole thing in there because some of this is gonna be on top, okay? So we're gonna put a generous amount. I'm not going by the recipe. Now there is a recipe on the back, okay? Look at that, or you can go to the store and buy it. There's the recipe for it, but like I said, I, I put my own twist to it. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put about, golly, I think I'm gonna put about that much in there. I'm gonna put about that much in there. And then we're gonna fold this in there, okay? Oh, look at that. See, it's already starting to come together. The dog in the background, my soggy doggy, teeny weeny. <laughs> she's excited, I mean. If you can hear her walking around the background, she's tap dancing. I need to get her fingernails clipped. Like for real. But uh, yeah, she's excited. Unfortunately, I can't give her any of this because according to my, to my sleuth work and research, onions aren't good for dogs. Chocolate is definitely not good for dogs. Do not feed your dog's chocolate. Okay, so now this is kind of kind of ready to go. I'm gonna just do a couple more here to get it going here. Now what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be I'm gonna line this with you can use Crisco or oil or whatever. What I'm gonna do is I have a stick of butter in the fridge. So I'm gonna just kind of 
rub it around this pan. Now, if you guys have really good like TVs or whatever, or whatever I don't care how, I don't know how it works. See all this stuff here? That ain't going nowhere. So don't think that this, that this baking dish is dirty. This is seasoned in there. I cannot get it the hell out of there. So what I'm gonna do is before I fold it over again, thanks for sticking around and if you already hung up the phone on me, good on you. So I'm gonna take this butter here and I'm gonna line the pan with it like this. You don't need a lot, just kinda, cause we don't want any stuff like super sticking on it. A little bit can, but kinda do the sides like that. Kinda run around like that. Blah, 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 bang, 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 bang. This is fun. Well, at least I'm having fun doing it. So the oven is gonna be preheated to 350 degrees. 350 degrees, or 50, that's fun to, you know, funner, funner. It's more fun to say it like that. Oh, whoops, forgot about something. This isn't a twist, but I'm gonna add I use this stuff all the time. Garlic, Himalayan, pink, salt. That's enough. Fold that in there a little bit more. Oh yeah. This is gonna be this is gonna be nice. Now with that horsey radish, this stuff here. Don't be afraid of it. That's that's the twist. And like I said, it's not gonna melt your face off, okay? Oh, you know, some people don't like heat. It's just gonna add a little bit of twang to it. Twang. There's a little bit of, ooh. You wouldn't even know. And I'm not gonna put any more. I was just tempted to right now, but I'm not going to. So what I'm gonna do here is pull it up a little bit more. Thanks for watching, folks. I got nothing else better to do on this Sunday because we ain't going nowhere. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to move this over there. I'm going to move this over here. And uh, we'll get right back at you. So much for one take, Jake. Okay, so now that we've moved everything around, okay, I'm going to go ahead and administer this concoction into here. Hopefully I don't screw it up. It's gonna be funny if I drop the bowl, because this is a big bowl. So how should I do it? I guess we're just gonna, I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna belly it up here and just dump it in and spread it around. You really can't go wrong with a green bean casserole. For those of you with experience, it's not really rocket science, but when you add your own twist to it, that sounds cool. Ding, 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 ding. I'm an ear dude. Apparently I wasn't an ear dude in my video that I shot with my buddy that was on tour because I'm a professional sound person, but apparently I wasn't that night. But anyways, this is a cooking show. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread this like that evenly. Pan's a little big, but that's fine. So we have the oven preheated at 350 degrees or 350 degrees. So we do it like that. Let's get that down there like that. Folks, looking good. Now, hopefully we have enough. It looks like we, yeah, we, we should have enough. This is, this is the kicker, right? Uh, the second kicker. I mean, my kicker is this stuff right here, though. The horsey sauce. Like I said, you put it in there, no one's gonna know the difference, but it does. I promise you, I promise you, it makes a positive difference in it. Oh, gotta get this a little bit more over there. Okay. So we're, gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle this on here like that. Folks, we're almost done. Your punishment is almost over. God, I hope I have enough. Yeah, I think we have just enough, folks. Just, just enough. Get this thing rocking. 
rock and roll. My phone says low battery. I hope it's still recording. I guess it's still recording. Okay. Let's go. Sorry about that interruption there. Oh yeah, we got just enough here. This is going to be fan friggin' tastic. Oh my goodness. For cosmetic reasons, and because I'm kind of OCD, I'm going to put this one over there. And I'm going to put this guy right in the middle there. Nice. So next we're going to put this in the oven. Again, folks, thanks for sticking around for my professional cooking show. Professional everything cooking show. I'm, I'm having fun. And that's, you know, two things matter. First and foremost is I'm having fun doing it. Second and foremost is that you guys are watching this. And if somebody that hasn't done this before, perhaps they can learn something. Hopefully the hashtags work right. Okay, so next we're gonna put it in the oven. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a plating, probably not, but we are gonna do the insert to the oven and then the pull out to see what happens. Now, oh, what you gotta do also is, oh shoot, did I just do that? Oh, cabinet got in the way of my ring light. Oh no. Oh, hold on folks. Isn't this fun? This is like blooper city Sunday. Right on. You gotta put foil on the top of it. Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna char the already fried onion. So we're gonna take measure out here. Let's be frugal. Let's be frugal, frugal with our foil. So you just kind of put it on there. Now, you don't wanna wrap it around 100%. Actually, what I'm gonna do, cause you gotta let it breathe. I'm gonna put it on like that, but I'm gonna put it on lightly, you see? Cause you want it to be able to, to breathe. But that's just so the, um, the onions don't melt. Okay, I'm slowing down here a little bit because you gotta understand I'm professional. I do cooking shows every day. This is a cooking channel, folks. Anyways, so before we put this in, I'm not endorsing anything, but you know what? This right here, I'm not sure if you can get this nationwide. I'm pretty sure you can't, you can definitely not get it in the Philippines. For my Philippine living friends that live out there, this is Full Circle Brewing Company, Mango Bomb. And I could tell you, it tastes really good and uh, it's not its not really carbonated, it's not really strong. Here's the QR code if you wanna check it out. I'm not sure who's gonna do that or who's not. But yeah, check these guys out. I love this stuff. It's not expensive. This is like maybe $4 USD per can. And uh, it tastes good and it does the job if you like a buzz, okay? You can't drink unless you're over 21. So I'm not endorsing children or teenagers drinking, but for you adults out there, it's just fine. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and put this in the oven. I'm gonna do one hand with this and the other hand on the phone. We're gonna shove this in my, my dirty oven. In the Philippines, it'd be called a dirty kitchen. Watch me be dirty. Oh, mm, God, it's so good. Mm. Okay, so. Let's get it in the oven, and we'll go from there. Thanks for sticking around, folks, if you have so far. All right, let's get this thing in the oven. My dirty oven. It's not too bad, but like I said, if you know, people, I've had a couple haters. They More people hate my dog videos than anything else. Your dog looks miserable. She's not, she's an old chihuahua. Anyways, this isn't a chihuahua show. Let's get this thing in the oven. Okay, so I'm doing this with two hands. I sound like I was slurring my speech. I'm doing this with two hands. All bloopers are gonna be included in this. So if I drop it on the way in, oh, that's gonna be funny. Well, maybe for the viewers, but not for me. Let's see if I can do this without screwing up. One hand on the phone, one hand in the oven. This thing is not light. You know, 
it has some weight to it. Okay, so here we go. Oven's been heated at 350 degrees. I'm gonna slide this thing in here like that. Center rack. Pushing a little bit more. And uh, yeah, 30 minutes at 350. And uh, we'll see how it goes, folks. Okay, so this has been cooled down enough to be almost warm to the touch. And there you have it, folks. I'm not, I can't pull it out because the bottom is a little, too, a little bit too hot for my hands, but yep. This is green bean casserole with a twist. Let's see how this looks if you, if you were to, we're not gonna serve it up here. But yep, folks, that's what it is. Thanks for sticking around for this amazing cooking show. And until next time, see you.